Little bass. Little bait, little bass. Take it. What's up guys? I've been here for about five minutes. Fishing a bladed jig. Uh, Fear Strike Outdoor, bladed jig to be specific. 3 8 ounce. Literally, I mean this lake is packed so I don't got many places to fish but I got one and he came, he hit it way out there and he is in here. I don't know. I mean, I can I can feel him. It's kind of just swimming it like a almost a spinner bait, just figuring out what I'm doing. I'm wondering if uh, someone. There's a lot of people swimming here. I'm wondering if I can even maybe get them to help me out. We'll see. We'll see. Might have to go get. It. Yeah, I just swam in, and I got. It. I don't know if I should. I got the GoPro on the chest harness. I don't have the. Ugh. Ooh, that is what's. <laughs> oh man, like chatterbait right there. I swam in for that sucker. Yo, that was. It wasn't even like a trophy fish, but first time fishing, Fear Strike Outdoor Bladed Jig, first fish on it, had to get the fish, absolutely had to. Uh, I was fishing it kind of like a spinner, just keeping it on top, you know, getting a cadence going fast, slow, fast, slow. He hit it, he took it straight into these reeds, like midway in, and uh, so I got in. I got him, totally worth it. I'm going to get this thing back on now that I'm all dressed again and uh, see if we can get some more. Hell yeah. Shoot. Man. Stoked. All right, y'all. I'm fishing again. An important tip for anybody that's newer to fishing, even not new. I didn't learn this for a while. When you have a situation like that where, you're, where your lure's either gotten all eat up or um, it's good to check your line. If there's any kinks on it, those are those are not your weak spots, and you probably can't see that, but um, it's a little beat up right here. It's not too bad. I don't actually, uh, yeah, I do feel it. I should switch this out. I'm not gonna, cause I'm being lazy. But if I lose a huge fish, that'll be my fault. Fear Strike Outdoors Bladed Jig. <laughs> Getting it done here so far. First fish, ten minutes. I'm just so stoked. All right, y'all, I'm moving, different spot. There's a lot of people, a lot of swimming, and I got pretty lucky with that last fish, so I'm just gonna try to get at an angle where I don't have to go in the water to get fish each time. I mean, I will, but, oh, I almost slipped and died. Uh, excuse my heavy breathing. I noticed in my last video, it's early in the morning. I'm a super stuffy morning person. And uh, this thing picks up a, a lot of stuff. 
and gluteum breathing. So now we're walking. I'm super out of shape. No worries. I don't got socks anymore. All right, y'all. Just moving around this little cove to the other side of it. See if I could just get some different angles. Now, if I had a, a big old heavy, heavy setup, this. See how this grass is starting to die right here? That'd be something worth punching through. Like what is up, y'all? Post-production Andrew here. Uh, I just wanted to add in that that grass, if you look at it, is actually pretty dead looking, which is a good sign that fish are moving away from that and into their fall structures. Uh, what else was I going to say about this? Such a horrible voiceover. Oh, God, I'm ruining it even more. I should just stop talking. Anyways, dead grass. Don't fish it anymore. Switch to your fall tactics. Thanks. Another one on the chatterbait. Heck yeah. And I don't even have to jump in for him yet. Yeah, sweet. Oh. And he's gone. Let's see. Kind of just treating it like a spinner that was it seems to be helping throwing it out there covering a lot of ground so far the two hits they've they've came close to the weed line but not when i've actually like had a good cast along the weed line and been bringing it through a little tiny bass following it oh, sucker's bigger than you dude Little bass, little bait, little bass. I'll take it. Oh, look at that weird. Like snagged him under the mouth. Uh, I lost the, <laughs> I lost the bladed jig. Yeah. Come on, dude. What is going on? Oh. So I'll switch this little plastic. No oh, man, he destroyed it. <laughs> see if it'll give me one more good bite. We'll see. It's pretty beat up. Um, I think I was using this in the last video I made. I was calling it a Helgamite, which is like a little bug, but it's actually correction a Nyata. After looking at the package, I had no idea what that was. I thought it was just the name because it's like a weird European company. Uh, it's, I think it's a dragonfly nymph type deal. Sinks super slow. That's why I super dig it. Oh, well, I got 9% battery. Let's see if we get a bite on camera. If we don't, we don't. That's all right. It's not what it's about. Kind of is though. That's that's why I watch fishing videos. <laughs> so I guess it kind of is about that. There's little ones everywhere and they're freaking smoking this thing, but I don't want little ones. I want at least they're daddy. So I'm hoping they're hanging out a little bit deeper in this little this is all grass. Still at least 15. This is like a little clear spot right here. And these little ones are hanging out, but All right, folks, battery's dying. Uh, just in case I don't get another fish here on camera. Thanks for coming with me. Nah, I got nothing to say, I'm gonna be honest. Great day, super fun. Caught a couple bass, different things, mostly the chatterbait, which is what I 